The Vice President of the United States is the ex officio President of the Senate, as provided in Article I, Section 3, Clause 4, of the United States Constitution, but may only vote in order to break a tie. According to the U.S. Senate, as of November 29, 2018, a tie breaking vote had been cast 266 times by 36 vice presidents. The following is the list of tie breaking votes cast by vice presidents of the United States. Historical significance The first president of the Senate, John Adams, cast 29 tie-breaking votes. He cast his first tie-breaking vote on July 18, 1789. His votes protected the president's sole authority over the removal of appointees, influenced the location of the national capital, and prevented war with Great Britain. On at least one occasion he persuaded senators to vote against legislation that he opposed, and he frequently lectured the Senate on procedural and policy matters. Adams's political views and his active role in the Senate made him a natural target for critics of the Washington administration. Toward the end of his first term, as a result of a threatened resolution that would have silenced him except for procedural and policy matters, he began to exercise more restraint in the hope of realizing the goal shared by many of his successors, election in his own right as President of the United States. In 2001, during the 107th Congress, the Senate was divided 50 to 50 between Republicans and Democrats, and thus Dick Cheney's tie breaking vote gave the Republicans the Senate majority. However, because the 107th Congress was sworn in on January 3, while the President and Vice President were not sworn in until the 20th, Democrats technically held a 51–50 majority in the Senate for the 17 days while Al Gore was still Vice President. However, no substantive legislative work was done during that time. Mike Pence cast six tie-breaking votes during his first year in office, the most for any Vice President. He broke a tie with John Adams, William Wheeler, and Albin Barkley, who all cast four tie-breaking votes within their first year. This was also the most tie-breaking votes in any single year since 1872, when there were seven cast by Schuyler Colfax during the Grant administration. He has so far cast the most tie-breaking votes 11 for a vice president since Schuyler Colfax was vice president from 1869 to 1873. In recent years, the increased threat of a filibuster has led to a rise in the use of cloture to end debate in the Senate, especially on high-profile issues where the Senate is sharply divided, thus rendering the vice president's tie-breaking vote increasingly unnecessary or unhelpful, since the invocation of cloture requires a three-fifths majority, rather than a simple one. However, the cloture requirement was reduced to a simple majority for all executive and judicial nominations in 2013 except for Supreme Court nominations, which were included in 2017, which led to the first ever use of a tie-breaking vote to confirm a cabinet member when Pence broke a tie to confirm Betsy DeVos in 2017. In general, tie-breaking votes have become less common over time, both in terms of absolute frequency and in terms of the average number of such votes cast by individual vice presidents. More tie-breaking votes were cast by the first 12 vice presidents in the 61 years from 1789 to 1850 135 than have been cast by the 36 vice presidents in the 168 years since then 131. <laughs> List of vice presidents by number of tie-breaking votes As of November 29, 2018, there have been 266 tie-breaking votes cast by 36 vice presidents while 12 others did not cast any votes. The average number of tie-breaking votes cast by a vice president may be considered to be zero the mode, 12 cast no tie-breaking votes, 3 the median value, half cast more, half cast less, or about 5.5 the mean value, 266 votes divided among 48 presidents of the Senate equals equals list of tie breaking votes since 1945